Hello, my name is Katie, and today I have a super exciting announcement. This is my first time doing this, and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I decided to just go for it and organize it, and I'm going to be hosting a readathon. I've done so many readathons in the past, but have never done one myself, but I decided to just go for it. So I'm going to be hosting the Romanticy Athon, which stands for fantasy romance it's like this acronym that i heard of romanticy i didn't make up the term myself but i really like it so i wanted to use it for this readathon and it is all about fantasy romance if you don't know fantasy romance has been a genre that i've just been really loving ever since i read from blood nash last year and it is basically a subgenre of both romance and fantasy where it is set in a fantasy world but primarily focuses on the romance and it can range from young adult books all the way up to like adult spicy book so you can get a kind of spectrum of fantasy romances and this readathon is just going to be 10 days this readathon is going to start at midnight on september 17th which is friday and last all the way until september 27th at midnight which is the sunday so it's going from friday to sunday so you get two weekends worth in this readathon and it's for 10 days and there are going to be five prompts total and of course you can combine prompts or you can do all five if you want i'm going to be posting on my instagram um, a bunch of like infographics and stuff that you can use to like showcase your own tbr and i think instagram will be where i'll be hosting a lot more of this like readathon kind of stuff just because it's easier to like share with everyone and everything like that and i'm really really excited about it i've made like a lot of cool graphics and stuff that i'm excited to share with everyone so with that being said what are the five prompts the first one is a book about the fae the second one is enemies to lovers third is marriage and that can be any kind of marriage whether it's a marriage of convenience an arranged marriage kidnap marriage like anything like that. Number four is a book with a character on the cover and so many fantasy romances have art on the cover so I figured that was perfect. And number five is a book about royalty. So I feel like you can really fit a lot of the popular fantasy romances into any of these categories. So what I wanted to do next was to go through the categories and tell you some recommendations for each that you can fit in for the readathon if you are like new to fantasy romance and you want to participate in this readathon but you're not exactly sure what books to be reading and I'll be including books that are both YA and adult and I'll be like specifying what category they fit in as well as just giving them like a tagline what they're about. However if you do want more information I have a series on my channel called fantasy romances that I want to read. I have three of them so far and in those videos I go into 10 fantasy romance series in detail that I have had my eye on for reading. And so that's kind of like where I research up and coming fantasy romances, things that are getting popular, and I talk about them that way. That series really focuses on fantasy romances that are more in the new adult and adult age range. So let's start with The Fae. This one has so many options because there's so many fantasy romances with The Fae. We have good old A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling that morphs into something more as the series goes along. And I feel like it's just a staple. It starts out YA and gets more new adult as the series continues along. Fortuna Swarm by KJ Sutton is a new adult book about a girl who is a nightmare, meaning that she can touch someone and know their fears, who is led into a marriage contract by a dark fae in order to save her brother. A Deal with the Elf King by Elise Kova is about a girl that lives in a village who is basically taken by the Elf King to help heal his people, but also like as his bride. Rhapsodic is about a girl who is a siren that owes the Night King, also known as the Bargainer, hundreds of favors, and she wears these favors as a bracelet around her arm as a reminder but he has not called in any of the bargains in the past seven years but then he suddenly shows up to call them in and this is definitely new adult promise of darkness by beck mcmaster this one is a hades and persephone retelling with the fae kiss the fae by natalia jaster about a girl who crosses into the land of fae and is caught by a trickster fae who offers her a deal I do believe this one is new adult. The Moonfire Bride by Sylvia Mercedes. This is about a girl who, in order to protect her sister, enters into a marriage with a fae lord. However, the rules of their marriage state that she cannot look upon his face. And this one is in the YA age range. Court of Honey and Ash by Shannon Mayer and Kelly St. Clair. And yes, the format of the name is familiar. This is about 
a girl who is half fae and an orphan and she's being hunted by the man that she loved once upon a time. I believe this is a new adult. Flame and Starlight by Dana Islay and this one is adult and she grew up being warned about the fae until her mother dies and then she's taken by a fae. Zodiac Academy by Carolyn Peckham and Suzanne Valenti and this is about twins that were born in the month of Gemini that go to this elemental magic school where your zodiac pretty much like determines everything about you and you can have the power of one of the four elements and these twins have all four. So there's some power struggles there. And I've heard it described as a grown-up Harry Potter. Kiss of the Blood Prince by Alessa Thorne. And it's a Faded Maids Fae series about a cursed Fae Prince and the woman destined to save them. And this is new adult. Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This one is a very tame YA fantasy about a girl who draws a portrait of a Fae Prince with emotion in his eyes and so she must pay for her crime and is brought to the Fae Lands by this prince. Taken is number one in the Coldest Fae series by Katarina Martinez. And this girl is a dressmaker who is human, but she is somehow roped into a competition with other Fae to compete um, to win the prince's heart. We have These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan, which is a YA, maybe verging on the verge of new adult, but I haven't read it yet, so I don't know, book. And it's about a girl that basically is in a love triangle with two Fae men as she kind of gets brought into the unseelie court to help rescue her sister. And this is one that I definitely want to read soon. Whether it's for the three to or not, you'll have to stay tuned to see what my TBR is because I'll be posting a separate video about that. Okay, that is it for Faye. I'm sure as many books as I talked about, you can find even more. So don't feel limited by what I say. Enemies to lovers. Everyone loves enemies to lovers, myself included. I simp for enemies to lovers. So what are some enemies to lovers books that you can read? The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. Love this one. So this is about a girl who has been raised her whole life to basically go in and be a spy. Bridge Kingdom where there's this king and she's been raised her whole life to believe that he's like evil and causing the suffering of her lands and she gets there and realizes everything might not be the way that she thought it was, and this is New Adult. Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster will also fit into Enemies to Lovers. Feather by Olivia Wildstein. This one is an angels-based new adult romance. Beauty and Darkness by Elizabeth Briggs. This is about a girl that has to go to a neighboring kingdom and wed the wizard king, even though they are enemies, um, to sort of seal an alliance between their two kingdoms, and this one is New Adult. Guild by Raven Kennedy. This one is one that I'm very excited for, and it's a King Midas retelling, and we have this girl that is basically kept in a cage by King Midas, and she has been turned to gold. And this one has been blowing up all over TikTok lately. It's definitely adult. Really curious to read it. Flames of Chaos by Amelia Hutchins. This one is definitely adult. One of the spiciest books I've ever read. I'll just say that. <laughs> this is about Arya, who is the granddaughter of Hecate, and her and all of her sisters are witches and they've been living in the human realm and they come back to like this land that's in between the nine realms and the human realms and this king has kind of taken over and one of their sisters is missing and they need to figure out what's going on. It's something else. A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. This is about when a thief in our modern world is transported to the kingdom of the Fae and she has to masquerade as a princess who poisoned the parents of her betrothed. The Savage and the Swan by Ella Field. This is about a princess who has been kept docile behind the castle walls, but she escapes and runs into the arms of the tyrannical King of Wolves. A Court of Honey and Ash by Shannon Mayer and Kelly St. Clair that I mentioned earlier will also fit into this category. Flame and Starlight by Dana Islay will also fit into this category. Dead Moons Rising by Jack Whitney. When Queen Idra rides into the forest, she encounters her enemy king there, and she kind of learns that things are not exactly what they seem in her kingdom. This one is adult. As far as some YA enemies to lovers, The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenzeller. This is about a girl whose plan is to go seduce the king and then kill him and take the power for herself. One of my favorites. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Marin, and this is about a witch and a witch hunter that are bound in holy matrimony. And this one is YA skirting to the new adult side, I would say. Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. This is about a witch when her twin dies, she's desperate for answers, and so she ends up teaming with a demon of hell to figure out what is going on. And I heard the second book is about to get even more spicy. For another YA one would be Bone Criers Moon by Catherine Purdy. Bone Criers have this ritual where they lure their true love to the bridge and then kill them. And so this girl is performing her ritual and she lures this guy here, but this guy's actually there to kill her. And then once they're bound in the ritual, one of them can't die without the other one dying. So things are precarious from there. And this is a duology. I really need to read the second one. I do love a good enemy to lovers. Those are like kind of more of the YA ones that I can think of that would fit into this category. Next we have Arranged Marriage or Marriage of Convenience 
marriage contract, anything that kind of just involves marriage. The Fortune is Sworn by KJ Sutton would fit into this. The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen would fit into this category. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Marin would fit into this category. Radiance by Grace Draven and this is about a couple that is kind of forced into a political marriage and it's friends to lovers, new adult. Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. Deal with the Elf King by Lise Kova fits in this one. The Moonfire Bride by Sylvia Mercedes fits in this one. We also have A Dance with the Fae Prince by Elise Kova, which is the follow-up, which also works for the Fae Prom. And this is about a girl that is basically sold into a marriage for gain by her family, and she never imagined that she would be sold to a pr Fae Prince for marriage. So things go from there. I'm pretty sure all these books are gonna have to do with marriage since the name of the series is Married to the Magic. Okay, for prompt number four is character art on the cover. I'm not gonna list out everything here because you guys have eyes and you can see when a book has character art on the cover. And if you want to like fit this into a regular GBR, it can be as loose or as strict of an interpretation as you want it to be. Okay, and the last one is Royalty. So some new ones that I will include for this one is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armantrout. Because we have Poppy, who is a maiden, and she kind of counts as royalty as she has a special position within the royal family. Fairy Born by Claire Legrand. This one is a YA slash new adult. I would say it leans more to adult fantasy about two girls that are born millennia apart, and yet their fates are intertwined through a prophecy. So good, one of my all-time favorite series. Another one that we have here is Of Goblins and Gold by Emma Hamm. And this is about a girl that basically like, steals a necklace from a goblin and so she is like taken captive by this goblin and it also um, to help save her sister. I think this one is new adult. So the other books that work for this one that I've already mentioned are For Tunis Warm by KJ Sutton, Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen, Deal with the Elf King, Dance with the Fae Prince by Elise Kova, Rhapsodic by Laura Thalassa, Radiance by Grace Draven, Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster, Beauty and Darkness by Elizabeth Briggs, Guild by Raven Kennedy, Flames of Chaos by Amelia Hutchins, and A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker, Dead Moons Rising by Jack Whitney, Kiss of the Blood Prince by Alessa Thorne, The Savage and the Swan by Ella Fields. So as you can see, you can fit a lot of these books into many categories. So you could read as many or as little books as you want from this read -a My whole idea is that I want this to just be like super chill and easy to participate in. I'm going to be the only one that's really running this readathon and I just kind of wanted to have something where I'm, you know, promoting a readathon for something that I really like but it's still kind of like low-key, easy to participate in. I'll be posting infographics and stuff like that on Instagram so you can post your TBR and it can just be super low-key and chill. So let me know down below in the comments if you plan on participating and I hope to see you there at Romanticiathon. With that, have some fun, read some books and I'll catch you guys in the next one.